you are watching Adjuster TV. Today on the Auto IA Show, we're going to pit two heavyweights of the auto estimating industry against each other. They've been trading blows for years, and today's battle is Auditex versus CCC1. We're also going to take a look at the challenges of these juggernauts and what they're trying to do to disrupt the auto damage estimating industry. But ultimately, only one will win this titanic fight for your hard-earned dollars. If you're ready, we can get started right now. Hey IAs and welcome to the Auto IA Show by IA Path. You know how most new adjusters struggle to meet companies hiring experience requirements and have no way of getting started? At IA Path, we created a mentorship program that gets the experience requirements waived with over 20 companies so you can start working in the next 90 days. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools, head on over to Adjuster TV's YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click the bell notification so you can get notified every time we have a new video. Okay, the first area I want to talk about and compare Auditex versus CCC1 is at the very beginning, getting set up with them. For both companies, it is a pain, okay? From the time you decide, I want to use this software, it takes a few days to up to a week for the sales department to typically contact you and get the process started. To me, this is crazy. On our day of instant apps, instant signups and everything, this is unacceptable. And to me, we've got to move our industry along a little bit better, a little bit faster than that. And so many times we need things to happen fast because claims happen in what, 24 to 48 hours, we've got to get moving fast. So on that, they both just epically fail getting you set up fast. Um, and then once you start the setup process, Auditex has an option to where you can write inside of a browser in the cloud, which that's a plus, but you have to use Internet Explorer only. You can only use Windows for either one of these programs. And by having to use Internet Explorer, it is no longer updated. It is no longer upkept by Microsoft. So that shows you how long ago this was built on the software. The software was built in the browser. So they're, they're working on some solutions to get it to work on more browsers now, but it's not there yet. So making the setup, doing the setup for Auditex makes it that much harder because you got to use Internet Explorer for the cloud-based version. They go inside the Internet Explorer options and go through and change all these different security and privacy options. And that to me, it's no fun. It's no fun at all. Now on the CCC1 side, once you get paid and you commit to pay at least $2,400 to them and you're begging them to get you set up, um, you then are able to work with their IT department and get set up. You can't set this up on your own. It doesn't work that way. Sometimes they'll send you a USB drive to install it. Sometimes they'll send you a download link, but that download and install takes an hour or two all in itself. Then you have to go through the setup process, get your computer working, and it's really a big pain that it's really hard to do on your own. And if you're not computer savvy, probably aren't gonna be able to do it. So both of these companies, I'm gonna give them both a C. Just not good in our day and age in comparison to the software we as users and um, as modern day IAs are kind of used to apps and things and programs working, they don't make the cut. But because they're the only option, they're, that's the only reason we're gonna give them their money. All right, the second area we're gonna compare Auditex versus CCC1 is in stability. Now, stability is very important because you don't wanna go start writing a claim and have to rewrite it because something crashes or a mistake happens and you gotta start all over. That is not good use of our time, right? We do not want programs crashing. So with Auditex, it is to me pretty unstable. I have, uh, we use it inside of our training programs and use it in our mentorships and give it to our students. And they have to rewrite estimates quite frequently during the claims writing process, simply because something froze up, uh, something didn't say right, it's hard to find um, the one that they already wrote. And so rewriting is kind of part of the job. And I, it's a shame that that has to be the way it is, but in Autotext, it does crash, especially in the web-based 
version. Now the desktop uh, version runs a little bit smoother and is a little more stable, but for me, I don't want to have to have a program installed on my computer because what if that computer breaks? Uh, then I lose all those uh, files I wrote. They're all stored on my local hard drive and not in the cloud. That's, that's crazy. I can't have a computer go down and then me be out of business because I don't have my files any longer. So stability for Autotex uh, gets a C. Uh, on CCC1, they have their own issues. They're not uh, perfect in this regard at all, but as far as writing a claim and having it crash is very rare. Having to rewrite an estimate in CCC1 occurs when you have to go make a revision, and making revisions is common with us. We have to write an estimate, get feedback from the insurance company, hey, we want you to remove this RNI belt molding until we see it at the shop actually happening and in CCC1 if you locked it which most of the time you're required to you now have to go create a supplement and then the insurance company is not going to accept a supplement because it's public documentation that they ask you to delete something so now all of a sudden you've got to go rewrite an estimate simply because you're asked to make a revision and to me modern day estimating software that sh you shouldn't have to rewrite it just because you need to go make a change but because of the way things have been dictated and that you have to lock an estimate, you can't go back and make changes. Now, it's probably the way the insurance company wants it because they need documentation of what's changed once it's locked, but us having to go back and rewrite estimates because of a revision request makes it very unstable for us. Also, for CCC1, another knock against them is it's a, something that's installed on your computer. If I lose my computer, yes, they still have everything stored in a cloud, which is a bonus, but I have to get another program installed, which can take a few days. So if I lose my computer, if it gets coffee spilled on it, I'm out two or three days. And that to me is not stability. That is not a stable situation in our go, go, go world where claims need to be turned around in one to two days. So I'm gonna give Auditex a C and a CCC1. They'll get a little bit better grade. They're gonna get a B, uh, but they could easily bring that up to an A if they were cloud-based anywhere software, which hopefully both of these companies are working on and gonna come into the 21st century with the technology very soon to kind of catch up with the, where the rest of the world is as far as with programs. But if I had to choose between the two based on stability, I'm going with CCC1. The third category of which we're going to compare Auditex versus CCC1 is ease of use. Auditex has a vertical main menu on the side you're going to follow, but this is like how easy it is for someone just to pick up and start writing in it. It's not that easy. There's lots of little hidden features and things that happen that if you haven't been writing in Auditex very long or you haven't been trained for an extended period of time on it, you're going to get lost trying to figure out how to accomplish things. CCC1 is a little bit better. It's easier to kind of figure out their sub tab system and to kind of click through and figure out what you're doing. But both programs, you gotta be comfortable with kind of taking guesses and not knowing what you're really doing to start figuring out the programs or get extensive training on them. So ease of use, Auditex is gonna get a C, CCC1 is going to get a B. Now, on to number four, the visuals. Auditex is king on visuals, okay? This is where Auditex, in my mind, takes the lead over CCC1. I can use their 3D modeling system, spin around all the different parts, look at it, uh, feel like the vehicle's actually assembled and then disassembled and exploded in a parts diagram in front of me in a very easy to understand way. I can identify which bracket it is based on what I'm seeing in a car. CCC1, their parts diagram is a little tiny, and you have to go through this whole rigmarole to be able to figure out what it is, what's the actual part you're trying to click. So if you're not real comfortable with what part is called what inside of the system, Auditex is the king here. So Auditex gets an A on visuals, CCC1 gets a C. Now on to price. Price is the fifth way we're gonna compare, and both of them are roughly the same cost, about $200 a month. So both of them get a B. You can get Xactivate, the undisputed king of property, for cheaper, usually, than you can get Auditex or CCC1, and you're gonna make more money. So the fact that they cost so much, probably because of licensing agreements to get the parts and the labor times and all that stuff that they gotta pay for, but the fact that it's that expensive and it hasn't been upgraded to the level that Xactimate has in terms of 
how easy it is to use, how quick it is, mobile apps, all of those things. They really only can get a B, and I really wanted to give them both a C. But overall, I think to be fair, they probably need to get a B in terms of price. Number six is industry preference. This is huge for us. This is huge. What do companies want us to write with? In property, we all know it's Xactimate. That is the king, right? But for us, what is who, who's the preferred one? Well, the preferred one right now and pulling away in this category is CCC1. They're way ahead of Autotex. And so Autotex is going to get a C in terms of industry preference and CCC1 is going to get an A. If you want to write for every company, if you want to be eligible to work for all the IA firms, you need CCC1. If you choose Autotex or something else, it's very likely you won't be able to work for everyone and therefore you're going to miss opportunities. And to me, we can't afford to miss opportunities. So that is the six categories. But now I want to cover uh, the alternatives before I issue a final verdict on Autotex versus CCC1. There are some good alternatives out there. Uh, first up is Mitchell. They were super popular in the 90s. They're a leader in this industry for so long in, in terms of the books that they used to create and everything, but now it's way less common. And I wish it wasn't. I wish it was more accepted by the industry because they have a really cool web anywhere interface. Any browser, any device, Mitchell anywhere. It's amazing. But most people won't accept their estimates now, which is just a shame. It's a crying shame. They would probably be the leader of the industry if the industry would accept them. But they just haven't got the acceptance anymore that they once did. The insurance companies, the IA firms, they want CCC1 and not Mitchell, which is just a crying shame to me. Uh, next up is Webest. Webest is not at all accepted by the major IA firms or carriers. Now, shops use Webest. Uh, IA firms who aren't beholden to anybody can use Webest and just know that you're not going to get as much work, and it's way cheaper. Um, and it does all the same common functions to write an estimate. But for us IAs who have to work for IA firms and for big insurance carriers, we cannot use Webest or Mitchell most of the time, so don't even bother. Uh, and then lastly, the other alternatives is number eight, the hail estimating software for PDR companies. I am jealous. I wish I was a PDR company that I could write my estimates using these softwares. Mobile Tech RX is the leader in PDR hail estimating and it starts at $65 a month. And this software is an app. Yeah, it has a desktop uh, for managing your company, but you can you do everything inside an app and it makes it so easy to use. Look for them to be disrupting the industry in the future. They are a powerhouse, and I believe they have a long future in the PDR industry and maybe at some point in the claims industry. But Mobile Tech RX, if you're just writing hail, you're not writing for IA firms or insurance companies directly, and you can use this as your estimating software, do it. Do it. It starts at $65 a month, and they're awesome. PDR Mobile is also is Mobile Tech RX's number one competitor. PDR Mobile has some amazing features as well. So if you're a PDR company, you need to check out Mobile Tech RX and PDR Mobile for running your business, dispatching claims to your PDR technicians, and for writing good solid estimates with extended features that go way past what CCC1, Autotext, Mitchell, or anybody has as far as writing hail estimates. Extremely useful, very user friendly, and if they could do all the estimating like CCC1 and Autotext did, they'd wipe the floor with both Autotext and CCC1 because they're leagues ahead in terms of technology because they haven't been strapped down by major insurance carriers and they haven't been, they've been able to uh, develop on the app level versus the desktop level. All right, so the final verdict, Auditex versus CCC1. What should you get as an independent adjuster? What should you invest your hard-earned dollars in so you can have a successful IA career? The winner is CCC1. At this point in time in 2020, if you want the most options for work, if you want the most accepted estimating software for auto, you've got to go with CCC1. And overall, although I have a lot of points that I think they can improve on, they're a solid system. You can get the job done. They have some mobile app features that are limited for IAs, but that can help make things more palatable than just a desktop system. So go with CCC1. That's my opinion. Um, I love Autotex. I love Mitchell a whole lot, but neither one of those are keeping up with the acceptance 
to the insurance companies. Insurance companies are requesting CCC1. That's what we got to go with. It's not that we like their software better necessarily. It's that overall, the final decision comes down with what estimates are going to get accepted. And right now, it's CCC1. So if you're interested in becoming an independent adjuster or an auto damage appraiser as a part of a diversified career, head on over to ipath.com and click the how to find work button. There is a free video course for you teaching you exactly how to become an IA and how to have a successful career. Thank you very much for watching the Auto IA Show. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.